Alright guys, welcome to your second Android developing tutorial. Today we're going to set up a project and make a basic start. So we're going to set up, we need to set up an AVD, an Android virtual device, and we need to set up our project. So, new, file, new, project, and we go to Android, Android application project, next. Okay, so now we need some kind of application name. This is what it's going to be known as. Okay, so we're just going to call this, um, what would we call it? I don't know. Yeah, tutorial. Oh, hang on. Android test, we'll call it, okay? Now, the package name is going to be, this is the project name in uh, Eclipse, it's, it's, it's unique to Eclipse, you have to have that particular thing. The package name is going to be com.something.something. Dot dot something. So generally I like to put it com.twistedEquations. Because Twisted Equations is my developer name. It's kind of like the reverse of a URL, think of it like that. And it has to be unique. Okay, now the build SDK is what we're going to compile it against. And we're going to compile it against API 16 Jelly Bean and we're going to make it work on Android 2.2 that's about 93% of Android devices as it says the idea is that we want to use we want to use that okay so create a custom launcher icon we'll leave that ticked and what that means is is that we can pick our, our logo or our icon for the app itself I've one created in Photoshop already and that will then say, and that will then translate into all the different density versions. Because on Android, you have to provide different versions of images and assets for different screen sizes. We'll get into that more later. Uncheck, make sure this is unchecked. That just means that the project is a library and can be used as part of other projects. It's a bit weird if that's more advanced stuff. Create project in the workplace, naturally enough. Okay, so these are our icons now. What we want to do is we want to choose our image. Oh, clip art image, foreground. So foreground image file and we're going to go to documents or not videos android tutorials pick and then logo te twisted equations there we go that's what's going to look like so we want a square shape background color none there we go so that's what's going to look like on different devices low density medium high and extra high this is something you're going to need to know and this is additional padding so you can put padding around it to make it bigger or small. We like it. We want about ten percent padding. That's just a blank area around the image itself. Okay. Next, create activity. Master detail flow. This is for fragments. We're not going to. We're going to create a blank activity. And uh, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll create an activity. Now, what an activity is, is we'll get into that in a minute, but we're, we're going to ignore that for now. We're going to explain what an activity actually is. Next. Okay, activity name. Uh, main. Now, this is an actual class name. So, remember, in, in Java, you have it's always good practice to name class names with a capital letter, and you can't have spaces. Layout name. Okay, now, the layout file. We're getting them in it is an XML file that describes where all the icons are on the screen in Android and you reference that in the code. So we are going to now oh, it even gives you these options. That's really cool. I never knew that was there. They must have updated the tools lately. Uh layout name. Activity main. No, we'll call this a uh, main I like to call it this. Damn it. Main activity, god damn it. Layout. Okay. Navigation type. Tabs, which puts in tabs for swiping. Tabs plus swipe. Swipe views. Now these drop down. Like that. These are for the action bar. We'll get into the action bar later. Okay. But you have, as it says, you have to have the minimum SDK of 14. But we're not going to have that. Now, hierarchical parent. This is the activity. You can uh, extend an activity. We're going to be doing that for menus. 
and title main activity finish and then it'll just do all this generation okay good a project is now available in the Explorer and it is now showing us up and it just takes a bit of time for everything to get organized okay so we're going to open up our main activity Java file and that's all this done now it provides a lot of information here for us and pre pre writes some of the code for us that we're going to need that you have to have okay so we want to I'll just go through the Android itself so the main parts of an Android app now this gen folder here is something you need to ignore okay this is your packages and these this is your obviously your Java files all your source code will be in these packages in the SRC folder the bin folder you don't need that libraries now as you can see here the Android support v4 library is there you're going to need that if that's not there you go to right click Android tools and add support library and then it downloads it and inserts it we don't need that okay and the console is giving us a crap load of errors now the ap that's for the ability to use newer apis on older devices okay now these resource files drawable hdmi see the way now look i'll explain how resources work in a, in a future tutorial it's our menu folder your allowed our values and our values 11 and values 14. now these are all different resources We'll get into more details what values dash 11 means and what drawable dash HD, HDPI means. Then the Android manifest. Now the manifest is an XML file. There's some tools to help us along the way to organize it. But if we look at the code itself, this is where everything on Android, this is all your information about your app, all your activities, all your services, content providers, everything goes in here. And this tells the app what's available, what's not available. It also tells the Google Marketplace what uh, ver devices should and shouldn't be allowed to download this. That's our version code and our version name. Um, uses SDK and then application, as you can see. Our icon is at drawable IC launcher. So if we go to drawable, I we go to drawable IC launchers there. You'll sort of see how everything works. So. That's that. Now we're going to start up our Android virtual device. Okay, so as you can see, Android test comes up there. So we're going to get this app to run first. So we've got AVD manager, new. Okay, name, we're going to call this phone. Phone, and we're going to put in brackets. I like to put the version of Android. It's going to be running 4.0. I'm not able to type it. We'll set it for API 4 size that's the sd card so our resolution your device ram size okay so we're not allowed to actually have android 4.0 so we call it android I, uh, great. phone ice cream sandwich same thing okay skin Resolution, we're going to set this to be a, a fairly high resolution phone, so we'll go with the standard skin, okay? Create AVD. Let's just put that up to API level 5, create AVD. Okay, that's actually a problem, and something I need to mention, I forgot something like a, a fool. If we go to the SDK manager, see here for Android 4, uh, Android 4.1 I don't have the system image here installed you need that system image to emulate an Android 4 device so I change it to be Android 4.0.3 because we have that okay so we're gonna start up our emulator start launch scale display to real size I don't really like that and it tells you your density of your your PPI your pixels per inch so this is the Android emulator now starting up it's gonna take a little bit of time to boot up for the first time you don't want to close this emulator, otherwise you're going to be watching this screen start up more than at times than you want. Okay, so we've got our emulator running. Now this emulator behaves exactly like a Nexus phone. Click on Apps, it goes in. As you can see, 
it can be very, very slow, particularly when I'm recording. Uh, Booker, th these tips come up because the first time I started the emulator. As you can see, it's just a disastrously slow, so we'll ignore that for a bit, okay? Look away. Shoo. Okay. So we want to run our app. So we click the run button. Or we can click run up here. That's run as Android application. Yeah, okay. And the console should tell us what's going on exactly. So it's launching. And give it some time. I don't know why my fans on my computer are so bloody high. Launching. This could take some time. Uh, yes, monitor log if the message is higher than. Yes. Okay. Now the log cat. We'll get into what what the log cat actually is in a, in a future tutorial. So as you can see, the app had installed. Hello world. T. So if we go back to home, click the all apps button. As you can see, the emulator is very slow. This is why I prefer doing this on an actual Android phone because it's very snappy, and it runs as if it would run normally. As you can see, our logos here, main activity it's called. Hello world. Job done, pretty much. <laughs> okay, so now that we've got the emulator running and everything's up and running, we're going to leave it be for this tutorial. And in the next one, we're going to start looking at the activity, the life cycle, and layouts and resources as well.